Speaker recognizes Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to speak in support of my amendment, and I'm very optimistic for this bill that my colleague has introduced. Madam Speaker, I, I applaud my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for taking steps to curb the surge and violence that we've seen in many communities over the last several months. The amendment that I offer will help us more effectively reach the goal that we hold on both sides of the aisle to reduce and prevent violence in our communities. Madam Speaker, I am proposing that we use 15 million in funds provided by the American Rescue Plan Act to combat violent crimes. We've seen spikes in violence in various communities and we need to address this. Madam Speaker, these funds will help them address this pressing need. We also need to improve policing to make sure that the police are solving criminal cases. That's why this amendment includes financial incentives to police, officer who, police officers who want to purchase home, a home in the community they serve. Living next door to, to people that they protect and serve help them more effectively and efficiently accomplish their mission. As I reflect back on my childhood, I remember many law enforcement officers that were in my neighborhood. I remember their names right down today and the impact they had on me as well as the community at large. It builds trust between the police and the community members, Madam Speaker. A strong relationship between the police and the community helps ensure that the police have the information that they need to solve cases. I want to reference two programs or uh, activities in my community that does just that. The first one is called Bridge the Gap. That's pretty interesting, Bridge the Gap, because the relationship of law enforcement and the public is very important. And what happens here, we have law enforcement officers, community stakeholders who... Uh, Members, we have a colleague addressing the body. If you could give him your attention, that would be appreciated. Speaker recognizes Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Bridge the Gap, it includes law enforcement officers and community stakeholders who invest in uh, raising funds to send uh, recruits to the academy. And when you talk about diversity and making sure you have a reflection of that community, that's what one thing that they do aggressively to make sure they have uh, male, female, black, Hispanic, and uh, other ethnicities to go through the academy. Very successful program, Madam Speaker. Another program is called Parishioners on Patrol. This was a, a program that act, I actually inst, inst, uh, instituted in 2007 as a result of high crime and violence in Saginaw. It made an appeal to the public, particularly the faith-based community. As a result, they joined us, joined forces. We have hundreds of volunteers still today. It's a nonprofit organization as we speak, and they're uh, actively engaged with making sure that law enforcement and the public have a direct line of communication to help improve and enhance the communication with that, with, that, with that apparatus. So Madam Speaker, I'm proud, I'm excited about this opportunity to support law enforcement in a real robust way, and my amendment does that. And so we bear in mind the awesome mandate of our police, and that is protect and serve. My amendment will help them complete that sacred mission, Madam Speaker. I encourage my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to join me in making these steps to ensure the safety of our communities and the efficiency of our police. I thank you for this time, Madam Speaker, and I ask for your support.